Oh God, it's rain. Can you hear it? Jesus. Ah, <laughs> I need to get in under there. Now it's coming down. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm back. I'm happy to introduce you to Siri, my Hyundai i10 runaround car. I've had this for about a year now since uh, my Ranger was off the road because of mechanical issues and I just had to be getting about so I picked this up for a good price and it served me well. Now it's coming to uh, the time I have to say goodbye to Siri and um, I thought I'd take her out and see what she's like as a camper. I've held on to Siri uh, while I've had my Nissan because that is 17.5 miles per gallon and doesn't make sense to take to the shops. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I've kept hold of her with all of her extras such as um, heater matrix not working and the uh, paint peeling on the bumpers and all the plastic parts plus the fact that I reversed it into a tree in the woods. <laughs> and uh, she actually does quite well here in the woods considering the tiny wheels and the clearance. Now I come to this woodland because the uh, tracks aren't too bad, uh, there is hard standing under there somewhere, but um, let's take a look at her. Now with the tailgate open you can see it's a, a micro car. Um, this tailgate and this bumper I had to replace myself and I had to pull out kind of a dent behind it from the um, spare wheel well there as well. Now this is a car tent for hatchbacks like mine, this is the smaller size. I tried it on because it is a very small car and it just about fits. Um, probably a car a tiny bit big would be better. But I've got to put this on quite quick because it's been raining all yesterday, all last night and pretty much all this morning. Um, just got a bit of a break in the weather now, I was expecting more to coming in. So I'm going to get this on and then I'm going to have a bit of an overhang to work in. As you can see, when I put it away, I couldn't quite get it in the bag from when I uh, did a test fit. So, that's no problem. Apart from tomorrow when it's wet. So I just have to get these corners on the corners of the tailgate there and uh, there's hooks inside so I can hook it onto whatever's available. Various hooks on the bottom here that I can use to hook onto the bumper. And other hooks wherever you can put them really. Maybe in there, seems to work. Now this awning can be rolled up to the top there, there's a net inside, but um, I'm going to use it out, so I'm going to need a couple of poles. I can actually see some that might be the right size there. I think these are from one of the previous tents with an awning I used here. They actually come with, I think, yeah, some pegs and some tensioners and a couple of bits of cordage. And I've just noticed a load of magnets. That's going to be really helpful actually, I didn't even think about that. Just for pinning it to the uh, body of the car. I didn't think I'd see any good ideas in this. <laughs> And trust these little pegs, I might get some of mine out of the pack. Well, it's not perfect, I can adjust it in a bit, but it's up in case it does start raining. 
just going to open up the uh, bug net now just to get some of my kit out Fire pit for later and a table. Hope there's room under the tarp for the table and chair. The matching pair today. Well, that's the exterior set up, it's just the interior now. I'll do some now and some later before bed because. Some of that doesn't need to and there's other gear in the way, so I'll set up the fire pit, I guess. Big aeroplane. No, I haven't bought the uh, XL fire pit yet. I really want it, but it's sold separate from the grill, the griddle and everything, and the bag. It just comes to so much money. <laughs> I just can't justify it, but I do want it. <laughs> right, that's that set up. This piece of birch, which is kind of a wire stick, should be good for hanging a lantern on. Don't worry, we'll get to the interior. Feeling a bit warm actually. I know it's going to cool down later, but right now it's not too bad. Gone very simple with the stove. Got some extra gas with me as well. I've got two bags for life full of. Uh, firewood here, all sorts from oak to chestnut, um, beech, everything's in here. Uh, just whatever I had laying around from previous truck camps and stuff. And the uh, reason I brought this is A, to make it a kind of relaxed car camp and also because I thought it wasn't going to be dry at all. So uh, I'll probably supplement this if the rain holds off. It is very overcast. <laughs> So here I am inside, I've kept the um, cover that goes over the spare wheel in the back here, the boot, and I uh, unbolted all of the seats, got rid of the front passenger seat, put the backs of the back seats across the uh, footwell here, which um, pretty much levels it out, and then uh, used the bottoms here for kind of a headrest and um, just padded this un uh, underneath for uh, the rest of the bed. And it's about just over, well I think it's six foot five without the headrest, just over six foot with it there. Um, I've, I'm like 5'10". Now I've got, I'm in my kitchenette area here, I've got a little table to put up and a power bank and uh, these are my window blinds. They're magnetic kind of curtains which uh, go on just around so uh, hopefully they work well because I've not really tried them. <laughs> And uh, I've got a windscreen shield as well. Well, I've actually got two because they've not been tried either. Go under there. So I was actually going to do the back out there with plywood and kind of spacers. Have a nice flat surface and like a built-in kitchen area. And then 
I've been planning this for a while, decided to get rid of the car and I thought that's just too much money and effort just for one overnighter in it because I really wanted to do it to see how it would go in such a tiny car. So yeah, I played around with it a couple of days ago and managed to get it pretty flat with just the seats and some padding. I've actually used two tents under the front uh, footwell there and I think it's worked out quite well plus this uh, kind of awning tent thing. Um, don't know how waterproof it is. Um, wouldn't worry too much about the company because it's one of them Chinese reference designs you'll find loads of them this one was just from Amazon uh, 60 odd quid something like that but I know someone that will have it off me afterwards right still not raining so I'm gonna make an attempt to get a little bit of firewood just to sustain me or replenish if I use it all it's always good to have firewood especially in the winter well autumn Nice dead bit of sycamore off this big tree. That'll do. Someone's feasted recently. This was from one of my previous trips. You can see where I've already cut it. Cut down my lantern hanger while I've got the saw out. You may recognise this lantern if you saw what should be my last video, which was the um, Timu camp. So I thought, batteries are still going, may as well hang it up. That could be better. My log store might be down here so nothing gets wet. Some kindling for the fire. I suppose I should test these out really. Not sure how they go. They should stick to the metal. Uh, starting there actually. Uh, 
Not bad. That's not bad. Should uh, block out a lot of the light in the morning unless I get up early anyway. At the very least, no one will be walking past and peering in. I've got two windscreen blinds. One of them is a pop-up. Like yay. And the other is more like a um, umbrella. But obviously not round. It's... Come on. <laughs> Rectangular. And try the umbrella first. Works, but it's not perfect. I'll try the other one. Well, if you can see in there, I've actually gone with both of them. The smaller one was kind of falling down, so the umbrella one is kind of holding it in. Well, I think it's time to have a cup of tea. Oh god, that's good. <laughs> I had a cup of tea in, well, since this morning. It's uh, quite dark, though it's not getting dark yet. There was a few gusts of wind, but uh, no rain yet. Which is nice, if that holds out while I cook dinner, I'm a happy boy. I heard the owls out and about squawking. Let's see if they come out tonight. Got my Firmarest mat with me, and I've got that small pump as well. This is that Flextel Zero pump I've been trying out. I've not charged or changed the battery or anything, and I've taken it on three or four camps now. I can't even remember. Um, not got the right adapter, but this seems to work in the out hole on this, so I can do the most of it. Now you can see it just about fits in, it's going up the back rest a bit there, but that can move back even further. Looking cosy. Up to a free season bag now. It's chilling down, to be honest, it's gone a bit more mild. Um, last few days were bloody freezing. <laughs> even got a little spot to hang a lantern in there. Well, the birds are starting to roost and it's cooling. Now that the sun's, well, what there was of the sun is going down. So I'm just going to get this lit with some wood wool. My favourite. Of course the smoke is blowing straight towards me and <laughs> the back of the car. Should die down soon, just as them uh, damp twigs burn out and the dry wood is burning. Hopefully. <laughs> I didn't really think about that, the prevailing wind is going in that direction in this woodland. <laughs> but, 
I needed a uh, sort of flat spot which there's not many of around here and I haven't got like levelers like on the truck it's quite funny really isn't it <laughs> a bit of a difference from the truck <sighs> feeling all relaxed now I actually don't mind this setup and I managed to fit quite a lot in there. Once you get them chairs out, it's kind of like a small van. If I wasn't such a truck guy <laughs> and had to get into, you know, some pretty risky woods with the uh, mud and everything, something like this could definitely work. Like if you wasn't proper off-roading. It's not a bad setup, you can fit a lot in there. Like I've got a full camp setup here, chair, table, fire pit, bed, kitchenette definitely could work. I don't want to speak too soon because I've not slept in it yet. <laughs> it's probably time I put the net down, keep any bugs out. friend just uh, messaged me and informed me that it's actually a storm tonight and tomorrow and probably in the next couple of days. <laughs> I think we've been downgraded down here but up in Scotland and the north it's uh, pretty bad. Uh, Babette I believe is the name of the storm. I think here it's going to be raining about 7, 8-ish, so a couple of hours. Um, so I'll get a few coals and I'll do dinner and I'll be ready to bug in <laughs> if the case should be. I might lower the um, awning as well so it doesn't pull kind of by the um, towel gate and just runs off instead. In this fetching blue bag I've got some lamb shoulder steaks and I've got some uh, tandoori marinade here so I'm just gonna get that marinating now yeah it should have been going longer but you know, I've made a hash of that haven't I? So this should mean less washing up. Put that in there. And give it a massage. I was just having a little wonder as we was losing light and uh, there's a big old ash tree to split in half over there. Must be the strong winds yesterday, I'm guessing. I'm glad it didn't happen while I was here, it would have scared the life out of me. <laughs> but it's time for a beer. Is that rain or Oh god, it's rain. Can you hear it? Jesus. Ah! <laughs> I need to get in under there. Wow, that come out of nowhere. It was like perfectly still, quiet, then whoosh. Maybe it's just a shower before the rest comes. I'm not going to move the fire pit just yet. <laughs> well, that surprised me. I was about to say I'm going to have a beer and it's uh, a ghost ship. A beer I do like to have in the pub. But I don't think I've ever had one in a video or on a camp at all. Plus size, they're big cans. You get many of them these days. Wow. I'm a little worried this tarp awning is about one meter wide, if that. So there's not too much wind, so it shouldn't be coming in sideways. I've got my jacket, I can put that on. <laughs> Cheers everyone. Another wet one. Sounds like it's slowing a little bit. I was getting a bit worried about the fire because it's um yeah right out there. That really come out of nowhere. <laughs> Well, hold off a minute. Thing is, I don't think there's really room for the fire under here unless I move the uh, table. Well, the rain's calmed down a bit. So I'm going to get some of this lamb on. 
as we've got some coals now. Oh, didn't put that grill on very well. Just letting that rest for a minute, but I've got some kind of chutney that I'm going to put there with it. Hopefully it's nice. Apparently it's a mint chutney. Well, I've got that Timu knife. I thought it'd be quite good as a sort of kitchen steak knife for camping, seeing as I've uh, bought it. Should be oh just a little pink in the middle, bleeding perfect. Oh yes, that looks gorgeous. Got the old headlamp mark. Got another ghost ship as well. So cheers again, everyone. Oh, and there she is. I'm just going to tear off a bit of the bread. Get a little bit of that meat. Dip it in the mint chutney. Mmm. Mmm. That'll do nicely. <laughs> what is saying? Fairly simple in case it was pouring with rain and because I'm using the fire pit rather than just like a, a campfire. And uh, yeah, this will do nicely. Every last bit. That was quite a sensible portion for me. <laughs> Seeing as the rain has stopped at the moment, I may as well stoke this back up and enjoy it while I can. A bit of a zing from that tandoori marinade. It was really nice actually. <laughs> nice and simple too. Well I've come the other side of the fire for the moment because the rain's holding off again. Um, should be with us again soon enough. I just heard that uh, Scotland's been hit pretty hard so my thoughts to you guys. Hope you're all okay. Like a red weather warning up there or something for rain. Lots of flooding. Yeah, I'll uh, enjoy this fire while I can before retreating into the car camper. <laughs> Oh, that's good. It keeps trying to rain, but it's not quite getting there. Just while I've been sat here watching the fire. I think I'm going to let it burn out now and um, reduce the height of the uh, poles. 
So when it does rain, which should be soon, that's why I've made my hot chocolate, it'll uh, run off nicely. I'm quite looking forward to getting in there and trying it out. I've not actually even laid down in there. <laughs> be an experience. Well, it was starting to rain, so I've come in. The uh, fire smouldering away. I just dragged it to the side a little bit because uh, it was getting a bit smoky in here. <laughs> but yeah, I'm in. Bed's behind me. My kitchenette is next to me there. I might uh, lay down, watch a film on my phone. Wait for this rain to come in. I think it might get a little noisy in here. <laughs> we'll see. But. Uh, cosy and I can I can sit up without banging my head plenty of space now it's coming down <laughs> it's like someone tapping on the roof <laughs> I love it though hopefully I'll be able to sleep through it I dipped down one corner of the tarp, but it's uh, still collecting water. So uh, a little worried about that, but I'm not getting out there. I'm sure it'll burst its banks at some point. Well, that was a wet one. <laughs> Didn't stop all night really. It was, uh, you know, coming in bursts, but it was just constant. Um, I woke up about an hour ago, but uh, to be honest, I was tired. It was dark and gloomy and still raining. And I think it's starting to rain right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, I stayed in bed basically, which was very comfortable. It reminded me a bit in my roof tent really. But yeah, very, very spacious um happy with that <laughs> yeah it's starting to rain okay <laughs> right i'm just gonna tidy up like my sleeping bag and that and um probably do some breakfast Still waking up here. <laughs> well, I'm definitely using the stove because it could obviously downpour at any moment, so uh, I'm not going to light the uh, fire. <coughs> oh, getting dripped on. <laughs> yeah, I've got some sausage, bacon, and egg. Nice and simple, really. Um, yeah, shouldn't take long to actually cook. I was just looking at the tent, and it's actually done quite well, other than it was seeping through a little bit where it was all catching but I've seen others do that I mean it didn't come through the sides or or anything I know the tailgate was doing most of that work but actually quite like it as a setup I must admit shame I'm saying goodbye to the car Squeaky sausages. J 
just dropped two rashers in the mud, so <laughs> it's just two rashers for me. Crispy bacon, some nice Cumberland sausages. Did I break the egg? Of course, I got some ketchup. There she is. Breakfast is served. Would have liked some bread or something, really. I didn't really think about that. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Just have something warm. It's nice. Right, it's time for me to pack away, and I don't think it's going to take long at all really, once I've put away the table and chair and um, taken down the tent awning, whatever you want to call it. Which I don't really want to pack away where, but... <laughs> but it has got me thinking how muddy the track is on the way out, so we'll see how I cope with that in this. <laughs> it's been through some weather, this. Right on cue, it's starting to rain. Right guys, that's me packed up. We're going to see how she does getting out of here. I'll stick on the camera so you can follow me. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.